<laughs> no, that's what he's going to be. For. Steady hands. I definitely don't have that. <laughs> yeah, good, to go. good to go. Tom Bos, a British champion and British record holder. But the first question I want to ask: What were the dance moves? Where was that from? <laughs> Daniel Sturridge has them. Well, okay. So everyone's asked me this. Yeah, I've just I've just been doing it like at, at races and people on social media and everyone's been commenting on it. And and that's what I want. I want the event being talked about. It needs personalities. It's a bit of fun. The crowd enjoyed the race and enjoyed enjoyed the celebrations as well and that's what it what today is all about for me because the fresh is off I'm already going to Beijing so I could just entertain and really get walk, walking out there. So no background to it then, no no reason today you didn't, didn't look at yourself in the mirror this morning and think this is the one this is the one for today. Uh, no, 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 I do I try not to think about what I'm gonna do with the line because you've got to think about the race first. Um, but I always know just walking across the line and uh, and just going, oh well done. Well, that's, that's what we family say about that in the stands. Oh, they love it. <laughs> yeah, they, they, uh, they love all the celebrations as well. They know that. They they follow me obviously closely throughout my career. Seen the tough little races we do in race in where there's no crowd, there's nothing, and so days like this they love to see me do that. And was this was this what you woke up and, and you were dreaming of to to be a British record holder? Um, well, I already had the 5k record, but I just thought it's, it was fast. And last year I had somebody, uh, I had the Australian uh, Dane with me, and uh, he was he really pushed me quite a bit faster than me, and it was a close race. Today I knew I'd be on my own. I knew I knew the youngsters coming through were going to really push me, and they did, but only early on. And then it just hurt, just hurt, and hurt. I just thought, well, oh, it's not going to last much longer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I had no idea that it would get as close to 19 minutes, but yeah, this morning I knew if I could walk one second PB and get the record again, great. And you were saying about you want to get the spot up there of walking and make us educated. Obviously, we're all quite unknown to it, and also to the British public. Just talk us through it. How hard is it? It looks like something so unknown to the human body. <laughs> what? Just, just tell us what you have to go through to be. I think it's like... Learning the technique, you learn it and then you just train and train to become more efficient. And I think lots of people say, doesn't it hurt your hips, your legs? No, no, not at all, not really. It hurts because I'm training lots. Like, as any runner, thrower, jumper suffers the same pains. But yeah, it's just about learning the technique and, uh, and I, enjoy, I enjoy walking faster than a lot of people can run, going down to local park runs, especially in Leeds, and uh, surprising a few people. And uh, yeah. I know lots of athletics clubs are now getting walks events going on and uh, getting their youngsters involved and, and the kids seem to love it as well so hopefully we can push it more and more. And away from the track a little about you, obviously are you, uh, do you, are you based with family or just, just tell, tell Lane a bit about yourself? I live in Leeds, I live in Trade Leeds, I've done for the last six years based at Leeds Beckett's University, get the name right. Um, uh, I'm not a student anymore. Uh, I survive off of sponsors, but always relying on sponsors. Got a great team behind me, Andy, Jake, and my coach. Without them, I, I certainly wouldn't be here today. Um, and uh, yeah, qualified for sports massage, a bit of cash on the side as well when I'm not when I'm not comp away competing. So that's just me. I just I just love training in Leeds. I'm from Kent originally, but Leeds is great. And how much is Beijing going to mean to you as an athlete person? All of it? You dream of going to a World Championships, you dream of going to Olympic Games as well, so it's a real stepping stone to what I want to do next year in Rio. It's my first world, and uh, I just want to go there and, and really do well. <laughs> Congratulations, mate, and well done on today again. Thank you very much. Thanks, awesome. Thank